Voyager 2, an interplanetary probe, was created to transmit and observe information about the largest planets in our solar system. The probe was equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, and provided scientists with an abundance of data that allowed them to explore the gas giants in a way they had never seen before. Voyager 2, launched in August 1977, and its twin Voyager 1 took advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs every 176 years. This allowed them to fly past Jupiter and Saturn. Voyager 2's design meant that it could continue to Uranus or Neptune, unlike its twin. The first and only spacecraft to visit the outer planets of the solar system, the ice giants. Voyager 2 passed Jupiter in July 1979, almost two years after its launch. It captured amazing images of the gas giant as well as its many moons. In August 1981, the probe reached Saturn and transmitted many more stunning images of its magnificent rings, atmosphere, moons, and other features. After another four and a half years of travel through space, it finally reached Uranus. Voyager 2 came within a few hundred miles of Uranus in January 1986 and observed the planet's amazing features such as its atmosphere, magnetic environment, moons, rings, and atmosphere. Voyager 2 was approximately 1.8 billion miles from Earth at this point, close to 10 years into its historic mission. The resilient probe discovered 11 moons during the flyby, all of which were named after Shakespearean characters, including Puck, Portia, Juliet, Cressida, Rosalind, Desdemona, Perdita, Cordelia, and Ophelia. We were able to see stunning close-ups of moons we knew existed orbiting around Uranus, including Miranda, which has a messa-looking surface that appears as though it was pulled apart and pushed together several times. We were also able to photograph four other large moons, including Umbriel and Oberon which allowed us to see their incredible geology. Voyager 2 completed its brief flyby and studied the Uranian rings, two of which were new discoveries by the spacecraft. The rings were distinct from those seen circling Saturn or Jupiter and may also be younger, having formed at the same moment as Uranus. One theory suggests that the rings are made up of remnants from ancient moons that collided, Voyager 2 sent back photos of the Uranian atmosphere, but it did not record wind speeds above 450 miles an hour. Voyager 2 also recorded wind speeds of 720 km per hour and evidence of an icy ocean, which may not be as we know it. Instead, it is a hot, dense, highly pressurized fluid made up of water, ammonia, and other substances. Data also showed that the atmosphere was similar to Jupiter or Saturn, mainly made of hydrogen and helium, but also methane, which makes the planet appear beautiful blue. Scientists had discovered that Uranus had been tilted to its side for 98 degrees long before Voyager 2 arrived, possibly due to an ancient catastrophic collision. The spacecraft detected a strange feature on the ice giant, its mysterious magnetosphere which is tilted by 59 degrees from the axis rotation, and does not pass through the center of the planet like many other planetary fields. Scientists are still trying to determine the cause of this unusual field. Voyager 2 was within 51,000 miles 81,500 kilometers of the ice giant's cloud tops, allowing the amazing probe to study the mysterious planet over a period of 5.5 hours. In February 1986, the spacecraft made a maneuver known as a gravity assist that lifted it towards Neptune, the last and most important planet in our solar system. 
Voyager 2, which was the second spacecraft to reach Neptune, would be the first ever to do so. After a journey of 4.3 billion miles 7 billion kilometers since leaving Earth, the ambitious probe reached its final destination in August 1989. Voyager 2 discovered six new moons during the flyby, later named Proteus, Larissa, Despina, Galatea, Thalassa, and Nyad. It also captured images of other moons that were already known, including Neptune's largest, Triton. Triton was discovered to be the most fascinating natural satellite in the Neptunian system, and one of the most important in the entire solar system. These amazing images show a bitterly cold moon with an extraordinary geological history, as well as an active volcano spewing out invisible nitrogen gas into space. The retrograde orbit and high density of Triton provide strong evidence that this strange moon is not a member of Neptune's family. Voyager 2 passed Neptune at 3,000 miles or 4,800 kilometers above the ice giant's cloud tops, detecting an active atmosphere with winds exceeding 680 miles per hour or 1,100 kilometers per hour, the fastest recorded on the entire voyage. Hydrogen and helium, like other gas giants, were the most abundant elements, but the planet's stunning cobalt blue appearance was once again due to methane. It was initially believed that Neptune was too frigid to sustain atmospheric disturbances, but Voyager 2 discovered large scale storms, the largest of which was called the Great Dark Spot, a hurricane like storm roughly the same size as Earth and comparable to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Neptune's storm was not able to last long, at least by giant planet standards, and the Hubble Space Telescope found that the Great Dark Spot had dissipated five years later. Voyager 2 also captured four new rings, revealing that Neptune's system of rings is so faint due to the fine material it's made from and confirming that all the solar system's giant gas stars have rings, with the ones that are known being just as impressive as Saturn's. However, they all are fascinating in their own ways. After 12 years of deep space exploration and successful explorations of all four largest planets in our solar system, Voyager 2 had completed its first mission. This amazing spacecraft examined many aspects of the gas giants, and scientists were able to solve many of their mysteries. The grand tour of outer planets was over, with Neptune being the closest encounter Voyager 2 will have for millions of years. However, as it quietly drifts through interstellar space, which is where it is currently exploring, it will be able to come within a few light years of certain stars. Voyager 2 is still discovering new things after 43 years of space travel and has made a mark on history. As the most durable and resilient spacecraft to ever leave Earth, a feat that can be proudly attributed to all of humanity. You can find out more about the predicted destination of Voyager 2 in the video at the end. I hope you enjoyed reading about Voyager 2's amazing journey through the solar system. Please like the video and subscribe to receive more information. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.